All right, so let's talk about what you can wear on the bottom half. We've covered uh, everything else, so let's have a look at what trousers you can wear. We do not expect, no one expects you to wear something like I've got on now, which is half of my police issue suit. Um, something in the order of £1,800 for the suit. No one's going to wear that on a moped and a lot of people can't afford it. What you can afford though uh, is a couple of choices. £60 will buy you these. Gore-Tex, waterproof, windproof, armour at the knee, pockets in the hip for armour, elasticated waist, Zip, so you can attach it to your jacket. Adjustable at the leg, so you can fasten it around your shoes or boots. 60 pounds, not much money. I give you a lot of protection. This gear has only got to work once. It works the time you fall off, the time you get up and walk away, because you haven't hurt yourself. This kit has done its job. If you can't run to that, and you're not going to wear leathers, you might want to consider these. Not unfashionable, they look like ordinary jeans. But these are special jeans. These will cost you about 70 or 80 pounds. And inside them, they have Kevlar panels. Kevlar panels in the seat, Kevlar panels in the front of the leg, and they have hard armor on the knees. They're not waterproof, they're not windproof. But for a nice day, with a pair of plastic trousers over if the weather turns foul, they're more than adequate on your moped. But be warned guys, the armour in the knee is that stuff and it affords impact protection. The Kevlar panels only provide slide protection. So with these, if you fall off on your backside, it's going to hurt. But if you slide, it won't burn through with the heat or abrasion and hopefully you'll avoid injury. We see short trousers, we see nylon tracky pants, we see all sorts of terrible things. Lastly, footwear. Again, it's another issue a bit like the trousers. We do not expect you to wear something that Rossi or Ron Haslam would have worn some years ago. What we don't like is training shoes sandals or flip-flops. You can buy walking boots, fashionable walking boots, Timberland do something, uh, 100 pounds a pair, offer you sun protection if you fall off. It's good kit. What we don't like to see and what you really don't want to do is wear trainers. If you think about a training shoe, it's designed to grip on a sports hall floor or a tennis court or a ballpark or wherever you are. And that's exactly what the training shoe does when you fall off. Your foot touches the ground, the shoe works, it grips, but it cannot absorb the energy of your foot inside the shoe. And you will tear that trainer as your foot comes out through the shoe and you may well detach toes in the process. Please do not wear trainers on your moped.